All right, children, what story would you like today? Tell us the story of Jesus. Tell us the story of his birth. But you kids have heard that one hundreds of times. Tell us, tell us, tell us. Tell all right, us. the story of Jesus it is. Well, it all starts with Mary, Jesus' mother. She was engaged to be married to Joseph, a descendant of King David. She was in her home one day when all of a sudden... Uh, Caesar Augustus. Attention, please. Everyone must rise and give attention to the words of your most esteemed leader, Caesar Augustus. <clears throat> I, Caesar Augustus, do hereby decree a census will be taken of the entire Roman world. Each person must report to his own town to register. You may be seated. <laughs> so, because Joseph belonged to the house and line of David, he had to go up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David. He also took with him Mary, who at this time was expecting the birth of Jesus very, very soon. So when Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, they had to stay in an old manger with cows and sheep. Who? Why did we have to stay with cows and sheep? Didn't it smell bad? I'm sure it did. But you see, children, when they arrived in Bethlehem, there were so many people there registering for the census that there was no room in the inn, so the innkeepers had to turn them away. But there was one, one innkeeper who only had a manger for animals, and, but he was kind to offer it, and Mary and Joseph took it to rest. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in the manger. But while this was happening, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Oh, this is my favorite part! Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared, appeared with the angel, praising God.
So they hurried out and found Mary and Joseph with the baby. They glorified and praised God for all the things they had heard and seen, and all who heard it were amazed. But Mary treasured up all these things and, and pondered them in her heart. Someday we can all live with him in heaven forever. I love Jesus very much for doing that. I'm glad he came here, and now we get to hear the story of his books all the time. It's a good story, isn't it? I'm quite sure it'll be told for years to for years to come. Oh. 